Hello and welcome back to another video of UiPath RPA project. Here is the schedule for this UiPath RPA project. If you find this video and this project is useful for you, please share the link to your social media channel. That will be a uh, great help for me so that people can learn and my channel can grow. And if you find any difficulty in between, at any point, you can just mention the time and then mention your question there. I will try to answer as soon as possible. So before I go ahead, I would like to tell you that I have already done one more project which has six different videos and five different workflows. So if you want to see that project, you can find the link into the description. And this is the first end introduction video for the RPA project 2. So in this project, what we will do that we will go on two different websites, which will be the airport websites, and then we will extract the flight schedule. As you know that most of the airports will publish their flight schedule and that will be updated every hour or every 10 minutes, uh, different different frequency of the time. So we will extract that flight schedule data from two different websites and then we have three workflows in this project. One is the main workflow and two are the workflow which are different website workflows. So as you can see in point number three, we will call these two different workflows which we will develop to extract the data from two different websites inside the main workflow, which is the third workflow of UI, UI path. And then we will also see how to add columns into the existing data table using UI path add column activity or uh, I will also explain that if you don't want to use UI path add column activity, then how can you write the code for same? And then once we have both of these tables into two different UiPath workflows, which we are using in this UiPath RPA project, then we will create a combined table and that we will do in a main UiPath workflow. And the next step of this RPA project is that we will create a connection with the SQL server. So we will cover how to create a connect SQL connection in UiPath. And then once the connection is created, next step of this uh, UiPath project will be to select few columns which are the common columns and then create a different table and then insert that entire data into a SQL table. So this is very small project which uh, I am doing and why I refer to do projects because uh, you can learn UiPath activities, you can learn about UiPath recordings, you can learn about UiPath data extraction tools from any video and the documentation is also available on UiPath official website. But when you do everything together and you create a project, then you understand that real time, how will you connect different pieces of the work together. So in this UiPath project, we are going to focus on how to create a small project and then how to connect all the pieces of that RPA project together. And this is the linear uh, explanation of this entire project. So first using, so using UiPath, we are extracting the data from the website first. The second step of this RP project will be extracting the data from another website. And the fourth step of this RPA project will be to insert the data in the data table. Let me show you the websites now. So this is the sample of data which you will extract. And uh, if you want to see the website, you can uh, see the websites here. You can see the URL also. Here is the URL for this one. If you want to have a look, you can just come down. You will have this this data which is there. We have to extract okay. domestic arrival, different different tabs. We have to click and then we have to extract the data. So here also you have departure, arrivals, international, and domestic. So we will extract all the data. 